Top 5 Upsets of 2017, Number 2 Lusik Baroni's Melbourne Magic vs. Please Kova. The number 2 upset of the 2017 season stems from the Cinderella run of Merginal Lusik Baroni in Melbourne and her second top 5 victory of the fortnight over Carolina Please Kova. When Merginal Lusik Baroni took the court against number 5 seed Carolina Please Kova in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open, the Croat was already turning back the clock. Ranked world number 79, Lusik Baroni put together a magical run in Melbourne, defeating Wang Jiang, Agneska Radwanska, Maria Sakkari, and Jennifer Brady to reach the second Grand Slam quarterfinal 18 years after her first. Both wiser, and a survivor, this time around, the 34-year-old Cinderella was set to take on Pliskova, dubbed one of the Contiders for the women's trophy after a breakout run to the final of the 2016 US Open and a lead-up title at the Brisbane International. Lusik Baroni came from a set down in two of her first four matches, against Wang and Sakari, but the veteran hardly faced adversity in the early stages of the match. The unseated Lusik Baroni routinely came out on top of heavy hitting baseline exchanges against the Czech number one, building a one set advantage in the last eight matchup. Nonetheless, please Kova who was looking to build on both a career-best Australian Open and success at Grand Slam level, hit back to level the match at one set apiece taking advantage as Lusik Baroni's level dipped, and the Croat began to struggle with a leg injury. Facing a 4-3 deficit, Lusik Baroni took a medical timeout late in the third set, and dug deep to win the final three games, securing a stunning 6-4, 3-6. 6-4 victory to secure her place in the last four. Almost as stunning as the victory for the world number 79 was the location in which she pulled it off, rather than at Wimbledon, where she made her last semi-final as a 17-year-old in 1999, or at the US Open, where she reached the fourth round in 2014 to begin her career revival, this was Melbourne. The Croat had lost eight of nine matches in previous trips to the Australian Open, but Lusik Baroni won five matches at the tournament to reach the final four. This time, it's incredibly special, especially since it's been so long since the last time I've been in semi-finals. And the struggle has been so much bigger, and nobody in this world thought I could ever be here again, beside my closest family, my coach, and my brothers, my sisters, my husband, my mom, she said. Beside my little circle, I don't think anybody believed that I could do it. And it's really fun. It's fun to prove everybody wrong, and it's fun to enjoy this for myself and live these incredible moments. It's more special this time, for sure. That fresh perspective not only helped the former Wunderkind thrive in her new life, but also held her in good stead when she wanted to return to the court believing she had more to give. When I was younger, I just believed because I won a lot and it was that confidence you simply have because you're winning all the time," she said. When you stop winning as much and you don't play for a long time, you definitely lose it a little bit. Not even lose it, you forget it. You forget deep down kind of who you are on the court. That happened to me a little bit, where I struggled for a few years, and I'm really glad that I remembered. At 34 years old, like I said before, I have a wonderful home. I'm happily married. I would be perfectly okay being at home enjoying my family. I really knew deep down in my soul that I have these results in me. To now be here and actually live these moments, it's incredible. What IT means, after victories by both Venus and Serena Williams who would eventually meet in the final Lusik Baroni was one of 330-somethings in Melbourne's final four. Though she'd lose to Serena in straight sets in the semi-finals, Lusik Baroni's magical Melbourne fortnight helped her set new milestones as a WTA veteran. She eclipsed her previous career best ranking after the fortnight, rising to number 29 on January 30th, past her previous best of number 32 set in May of 1998. She later reached a high of world number 20 in May, and though she struggled with injuries for much of the rest of the season, her other highlights included a quarter-final in Miami, a semi-final in Charleston at the Volvo Car Open, and a third-round result at the Internazionale Biennale d'Italia in Rome.